Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands. True School Sports and subscribers, what's going on, guys? Now, uh, I made a video, I want to say it was around last week. Uh, I was talking about how the WBA had approved a, a, a fight, a mandatory fight for uh, Jason Sosa to defend his uh, recently um, the title he won against uh, Javier Fortuna. Uh, his first defense of that title was going to be uh, at Super Featherweight was going to be against uh, against Mayweather's prodigy, Mayweather's Floyd Mayweather's, um, you know, protege, Javante Davis, and that was slated for October 22nd. And now it's turning out that you know there's some things going on behind the scenes with Floyd and Javante, and 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 they're at odds and they're not agreeing on certain things. So now the fight looks like it's it's in doubt. It'll probably be scratched. Um, which honestly, to be honest, you know, I thought. For Javante, this is a very, very huge step up. Um, he really has not fought anybody. I actually watched him fight in person because he fought right here in, in Hollywood in South Florida. Um, he fought on the undercard of Bartholomew Bay, and the guy he fought was a straight can. Uh, and that's putting it lightly. Um, he's, he's an exciting fighter, but definitely needs a lot, a lot of more seasoning before he fights a title fight. And I think this would have been way too much for him uh, too early. But, uh, yeah, what it is. So here's what here's what's happening with Javante and Floyd. So Floyd, being that he's, you know, in control of his career, of Javante's career, you know, he wants things done his way. And Javante being a young kid, you know, he wants things done his way to, to a point. Now, uh, what Floyd wants Javante to do is he wants him to come out to live in Vegas so he can train there and be close to the gym, which, you know, obviously makes a lot of sense. Uh, I could definitely see Floyd's side of things to where, you know, that's where that's where Mayweather promotions is based out of, and that's where his gym is. So it will be easier for for, for Floyd and and, and um, people that work, that work with him to, to have him right there because then they can, you know, it'd be easier just get him sparring coming because there's always good sparring in Vegas. There's always guys coming in and out of Vegas, so that that would be easy for him. But Javante, you know, he's from Baltimore. He wants to stay in Baltimore. Which, you know, I can see that side too. If you're Javante, you're 21 years old, you don't really want, you, 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 you like your home. You want to stay where you're at, where you're comfortable, and, and, and maybe training in your hometown gives you that edge to be a great fighter. You know, some guys are like that. Um, so I see both sides. I think, though, there's some, they, they, they got to meet somewhere in the middle. You know, Javante could go live in Vegas, you know, for an extended period of time. And then if he wanted to, you know, Come back home and, and and do some training at home. You know, th 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 there's got to be a middle ground somewhere, but it's not going it's not going really well between Floyd and Javante. Here's what Javante said um, recently. He stated the following. He said, "I quote: I'm giving up on a lot of things, and boxing might be one of them. Y'all don't know what I've been going through these past few weeks." He says, uh, "This stuff this stuff's too much. Floyd Floyd has me on the shelf." And he's like, and then he continues going, saying, "I quote." Move from the place that got me where I am today. That's what. That's what's wrong with most that lose. They leave their home. I have a mom to feed. What, what about that? I have brothers, coaches, loved ones. My city loved me, and it will never change. So, there you have it. Now, Javante is pretty hell bent on staying in Baltimore, where he's accustomed to. And look, here's another thing. Because um, I know a lot of people might say, well, you know, he should listen to Floyd, um, and he should do what Floyd says. And honestly. I probably will listen to Floyd. You know, Floyd knows a lot more about more than me at, at this point in my career. If I'm Javante Davis, but um, DC is not a bad place to be. If you're a boxer, DC is definitely not a bad place to be. There's, there's, there's some good fighters that come out of DC. There's definitely um, some good places to train at. You know, you have that the, the, the head bangers gym over there. Shout out to DC Mike, DC Mike TV. But uh, anyway, you have the head bangers gym where Lamont Peterson, Anthony Peterson, and um, a, a whole Dominic Wade, a whole host of other guys train out there. I know Broner gets good sparring out there. So it's not like DC's the Siberia of, of, of the boxing world and there's nothing, just no good sparring or no good gyms over there. They got good gyms and good fighters over there. So uh, Javante's not a completely bad place to be. But yeah, that's the news, man. The October 22nd fight that was announced uh, was probably going to be scratched because of this whole issue between Floyd and, 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 and Javante and things Javante has now said. So, um, you know, I kind of, I, I kind of think it's a good thing. Javante has really not beaten anybody good at all. Like that's, that's just what it is. He's beaten guys that were brought in to make him look like the future of boxing. And I, I believe the highest ranked guy he's beat is 
number 155 in his weight class, something like that. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. We'll see what happens. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, who, who, uh, Javante Davis and Floyd Mayweather at odds. Just leave your thoughts on this in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take care, guys.